hello everyone welcome back to another episode in this camera system tutorial this uh, so here I am going to make a camera uh, an on rail camera that you might have seen in Resident Evil type games so as the camera as the character works in this area you can see the camera is following the character on a fixed rail like this and if the character go into another room just like before it switches the camera and continue like this so that's what I'm going to cover in this episode okay so in this system now we have camera switching like this so when I go inside the door the camera is switched like this and outside like this so that's what we have developed so far in the camera system and now I want to develop an on rail camera similar to the ones you have seen in Resident Evil games like when the player walks in a, maybe in a corridor or something the camera follows the player from an angle like this so that's what I am going to attempt now okay so this is the wall cam well, I should rename it as fixed cam. Because that name is better. Let me put them into another folder. Cameras. Right. okay so here we have the fixed camera let's create a child blueprint class from the fixed camera I'll call it on rail camera here is the blueprint and here uh, first I'll add a spline so this spline will define the path this camera will follow when the player moves all right so instead of this fixed camera right here I'll add an on rail camera can I replace it oh, no okay let's add an on rail camera like this okay so far it wouldn't do anything because I haven't made any changes there okay so far it doesn't do anything only behave like the fixed fixed camera so let's start editing right uh, so in my fixed camera I have two events as activate camera and deactivate camera so let me override them right here activate camera event and I wouldn't do anything for the deactivate camera yet so here I'll add a call to parent function mm -mm. and 
yeah here I am attaching the in the fixed camera I am attaching the camera to the default scene route but in the unreal camera that's not what I need right so in the tick in the fixed camera I what I do is I check for obstacles and if there is an obstacle change the camera and deactivate the current camera and before that I do this part look at target so basically what I am doing here is updating the camera uh, updating the this object to make sure that it is uh, looking at the player character so so uh, I update uh, this look at target part to a function because uh, I need to override that part because uh, for the on rail camera this look at part should be a uh, slightly different from this one so yeah let's do it like this let's expand this node and collapse to function I'll call it update camera okay also here I think I need I will need this camera access to this camera object later so therefore I will promote this to a variable I'll call it active camera no just camera and set the reference like this and when I deactivate oh, I don't need to validate them now okay right now let's go to the on rail camera and I'll override the update camera function like this mm. oh, well let me do a slight change here I'll add a note to go to parent note and let me change this update camera slightly instead of setting uh, the rotation of the object itself I'll update the rotation of the camera set word rotation like this because uh, because in when I'm working on in this on rail camera if I rotate the camera itself it's uh, this object itself it will also rotate the spline object as well so that's why I wanted to override it and change it like this so let's check and make sure if everything is working fine yeah it is working fine no issue yeah everything is fine okay so I'll delete this part right in the on rail camera uh, right now the next thing I have to do is right let me change the name of this function slightly instead of update camera I'll call it update camera rotation and I'll define another function here called update camera location 
and I'll call that also in the tick it doesn't do anything in the fixed camera because it is a fixed camera so we are not going to change the location but I'll override that yeah we don't need to override this now okay I'll override uh, the update camera location part okay here mm -mm. this is the way I am going to do I am going to calculate the distance from the camera to the actor and then I am going to find out what is the amount um, when I divide that value from the maximum distance the character and the camera can have and then using that distance using this value uh, that value as a factor I'm going to place the camera at some position along this rail defined by this spline well it may be not clear for you yet but when I do the implementation it will be clear let me know in the comments if it is not clear for you right first I need to know what is the maximum distance the camera and the character can have so therefore in the unreal camera I'll just uh, print those values oh wait a minute wait a minute in the fixed camera I have put this part in here this is valid check so no I need to do this outside oh. that means I need to put that part before go in here okay now here target actor and let's take the distance to between target actor and self that means this object like this and let's print it so we will have some idea about what is about the distances that we can have right now it's thousand and when I go to that corner it increases to 2000 yeah so I'll consider 2000 as the max maximum value and as the minimum value let's see well actually minimum value can be only zero no need to calculate that okay right so that's what I wanted to know 2000 okay now we can take this distance and divide it by 2000 so we will get a factor and I'll clamp this between 0 and 1 then on the spline point I'm going to get length of the spline and multiply it by this value let me collapse this
let's call it update right and then uh, let's get location at distance along spline so the distance would be this and then we are going to get camera and set location set world location of that camera like this all right and uh, yeah here i should use the coordinate space world and compile and let's see what happens now character starts from here all right now when the character moves to that side the camera moves on the rail and stops here when the character coming back the camera moves back like this cool so that's what we wanted to do that's what I wanted to cover in this episode let's move the character into the room and as before it switches the camera without any problem and resumes the camera just like before all right so that's all for today in this series and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as i have explained here and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye